I'm just going to give a quick recap, right? Because there, you know, this is life changing if you tap into it, but we have covered a lot of material. So firstly, I mean, what we're talking about here is the fact that many people struggle with staying motivated to make the choices and take the steps that align with our goals, with who we want to be and the results that we want in life, right? And this applies across everything, our business, our health, our relationships, all areas of life, yeah? And the reason that we struggle with this is not because there's anything wrong with us and it's not because we lack willpower or we're just not motivated enough or we're just procrastinators. It's not any of that. The real reason is that we're going about it in the wrong way. We're working against the way our brains are wired. So three things to be aware of. The first thing is that when we're busy all the time, when we're juggling our energies and spreading our energy and our focus across business or work, families, other commitments, we deplete our tank. We use a lot of energy and focus and we deplete our willpower tank. So we simply run out of that willpower and motivation. Um, so we need to, to nurture that energy and to create the inspiration that helps to fill it up again. And as well, as humans, we have this inbuilt resistance to change. It's the way we evolved in the old days that kept us alive, right? If our ancestors hadn't have had it, we probably would have all been killed by saber-toothed tigers or something but it doesn't really serve us now, is that part of our brain that resists the unknown. It's trying to protect us from some imagined worst case scenario, but instead it keeps us from making positive change if we let it, all right? The third thing is remembering we are creatures of habit and we can use that in our favor by building positive habits that align with who we want to be. So what's the formula? The five W's methodology is, it first starts with creating that inspiration to resistance to change and we do that in three ways first asking ourselves what will my life be like in the future who will i be in the future if nothing in my life changes and think about it five years down the track 10 years down the track 20 years down the track who will i be and then we can ask ourselves hmm, well who would i prefer to be <laughs> right and they're saying who do i choose to become instead and, and it might be that you go oh I'm quite happy with what I see. I don't choose to make any change, in which case, congratulations, <laughs> you're one of the chosen few. Um, most of us would look at it and go, yeah, actually, there's something else I prefer. Who do I prefer to be? Who do I choose to become? And the third piece is, why is this preferred self exciting for me? What are the benefits, not just for me, but for all of those people I come into connection with? And make that really exciting, because that excitement is what creates the inspiration that is the magnet that draws that version of ourselves to us, that helps us to become that person. And it becomes a compass as well, so that when you're making daily choices, you can ask yourself, which choice would my future self prefer that I make in this moment, All right? So the next thing is just, we need to uh, you know, adjust for that resistance to change, which we know is there. It's part of our human wiring, right? And the key is to slip the change under the radar by making it really, really small, super small, super, super small, so that it doesn't trigger the alarm bells in our brain that triggers that voice that tries to talk ourselves out of it. All right, we need to make the, the change initially so small that it feels easy, knowing that you can always build on it and make it incremental, All right? And then the third thing is to build habits, and that is where the five W's method comes in. So a habit is a behavior that we've wired into our brain so that it becomes automatic. This five W's method is based on the science of habit formation to help you create habits that will last so that you actually become that person. And it's just who you are. You don't have to work at it or effort at it or motivate yourself to be. It's just who I am, right? Um, and that's how we achieve transformation. So a reminder of the five W's, what is the tweak, the change that you're going to make? being specific about it and making sure it's super small. The next one is where am I going? It doesn't actually matter the order. So it's what, it's when am I going to do it? What time during the day or what other part of my daily routine is it hooked onto? What activity am I just about to start or have I just finished when I do this thing, All right? Where am I going to be when I do it? 
thinking about that. And it might not be that there's a particular place, but you may find that actually yeah, there is a particular place that I'm going to be in when I do this thing. Who am I with? Am I with anyone? If so, who and who helps me stay on track with this? And the last piece is why does it feel good to do it in the now? It's not just a long-term benefit. There needs to be a benefit, a reward for our brain in the moment that we're doing the thing. So thinking about that, thinking about how it will feel and focusing on that feeling when we do it creates that intentionality and that focus. And so that helps us to much more quickly wire in that habit and then you can expand. All right. So what's next? Well, the first thing is I invite you to remember, please, that we are what we repeatedly think and do think, feel, and do. Um, and that's who we become, right? That's just how it works. And you have the power and the capacity to create new habits, habits that nourish you, habits that align with the life that you want. And it starts with connecting with your future self and with the person that you choose to become. You can make that decision. And you can make that choice every day, every day and take those little baby steps that align with that version of you and utilize what I've shared with you today to make those steps into habits so you don't need to use your energy and think about it to do it. It's just who you are. I mean, seriously, why let life happen to you when you have the power right now to shape the life that you choose? So remember, if you'd like a copy of my five W's tool, it's a short, simple PDF um, tool to help you just put these things in place for yourself. Just drop five W's and I'll just pop that in the captions as well. Drop five W's in the chat to let me know if you'd like a copy of that. And of course, as always, if you'd like a copy of my show notes, drop notes in the comments. 